Hi everyone, welcome back to another TechCore Duo video. Today I wanted to take a look at the process of setting up VNC on Ubuntu. Now this is Ubuntu, the latest version, 19.10 I believe, but this will also work on 18.04 and versions prior, as long as they have the GNOME uh, desktop environment. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, first thing we're gonna need to do is open up a terminal. And let's just verify that we have Vino installed. Some uh, scenarios you might not have it there. It's technically default, but we'll do it anyway. So we're gonna do sudo apt update and uh, sudo apt install dash y Vino. And let's put in our password. All right, Vino is installed. Now we're gonna go ahead and enable screen sharing through the graphical user interface. Uh, so let's show our applications and search for sharing. All right, from here, you wanna make sure to enable sharing with this green switch and enable it here. You can allow connections to control the screen and you can also set it to require a password. If you have more than one network, so you will might have like Wi-Fi and you also have a wired connection, you can enable both of these so you can get connected to them. Now, it would seem like this would be all that you need to do. And this is kind of where I was thinking that, you know, once you have this enabled, it'll, it'll work. But there are actually authentication issues with VNC that prevent it from working. So there are a few more steps that we have to take now. Let's go ahead uh, back into terminal and we're going to allow port 5900 on TCP from anywhere to connect. So we'll do sudo UFW allow from any to any port 5900 protocol TCP. All right, the rules have been updated. Next, we need to install the deconf editor. So let's go sudo apt-get install dconf-editor and hit return. All right, that looks good. Go ahead and clear all this out. So we have some fresh lines. And let's open up the deconf editor. All right, so this is just a warning letting us know, hey, be careful with what you do here. And we'll say, okay, I'll be careful. Let's go to org from here. Then we'll go to GNOME desktop, remote access. And then we're going to find the encryption and turn that off. Boom. All right. And the rest of the settings you can leave as is. And you have now successfully set up VNC without needing to install Tiger VNC or Tight VNC or Real VNC or any of these other third party things. This is built in directly into uh, Ubuntu. So, to kind of demo it, what I'm going to do is do a quick recording on my f iPhone and demo that I can connect successfully. Uh, so, what I'm going to do here is just close this. I got to figure out what my. Uh, IP addresses. Just give me one second. Now they change the way you find your IP. So it's just IP space A instead of IF config. All right. And let's give that a shot. So I'm going to do a quick screen recording here so you guys can follow along with me. And this way we can both 
kind of take a look and verify that it's worked. Uh, let's open up real VNC. All right, I'm going to add, a, actually, I think that might be the one. I'm just going to delete it and let's start a new one. So let's go hit the plus and let's do 192. dot one six eight dot one dot twenty seven this is going to be the ubuntu test all right let's save and let's hit connect we should be prompted for a password all right it's unencrypted that's great i'm going to turn off this warning because i don't need it let's hit connect and the password and remember the password and go Oh, I must have forgotten my password. And authenticating, connecting, connecting. And there we are. We have successfully connected to our Ubuntu desktop using real VNC. That sums up the process. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time.